It is irrefutable that what started like a love story in the early 1800s has become one of the commonest rituals practiced by the Bamasaba people found at the slopes of Mount Elgon. In Balu, the male circumcision rite of passage to manhood and kadudi, vigorous cultural dance, are two associated cultural performances that distinguish the Bamasaba from other traditional groupings. There's nowhere in the world where you find people dance the way we dance. And where a young man faces the night the way we face the night, live. That's why I feel I have to thank my mother and my father. They produced me in Bumasawa. The Umhevi, the surgeon, circumcises the Umsinde, the uncircumcised. The Umhevi is in charge of both the knife and the whistle during the ritual. 50 year old Joseph Masavasi is a career surgeon licensed to perform circumcision in accordance with the Bamasaba culture. He boasts of a working experience of over 30 years and still counting. Uh, this job, it, will, it is a, a born disease from our ancestors. The former Catholic priest says he resigned from being a catechist after calls by his ancestors that he embarks on being a surgeon. Uh, because my father was a, uh, a surgeon, my grandfather is a surgeon, so my ancestors are surgeons. So that's why even now I'm a surgeon and even now my my younger boys also they are also surgeons. Na kumuri makwe wana si makwa manga ni manya na sala ne ba na be na musang ba jinde magaga na maga na matwe. Awe ne yoga ko banya biose mai. According to Masabasi, fearful candidates can be given a local hub to boost their morale to face the knife. Mm -hmm. The Bamasaba has a spirit in them. That spirit forces a young man to just start crying. So it's not it. No, 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 no. It is that egoism. You see the guy you have grown up with and you hear that he's going for circumcision. Then you pick the encouragement. You say, I'm also, I want to do it. Masabasi also reveals that before going to circumcise, he sterilizes his tools, the knives, by placing them in boiling water for some time. You see, it is now okay. It is now ready for the work because we sterilize it and then after that we dry it and then we sharpen it. All the days, a surgeon would perform freely as long as it was within mm. the cultural norms. <laughs> However, with the ever-changing societal demands, imbal surgeons are now required to get licensed. When you circumcise the child, he can bleed everywhere. So when you don't know how to, to handle it, the child may die. Whoever shall, we shall find HIV positive will be put on treatment and will not be eligible for circumcising. Activities in line with the Imbalu are characterized with a cocktail of events that are marked for different but related purposes. The Marwa Brewing Session is usually the first activity carried out by the candidate in preparation of his visitors who will witness as he faces the knife. On this day, the candidate goes to the river to collect water to mix ingredients of marwa. It is on the same day that the candidate is smeared yeast and decorated with all sorts of ornaments to single him out from others. Close female relatives of the candidate are smeared and decorated for the same purpose. Then, the candidate escorted by his family and friends goes around dancing to different villages, visiting relatives and friends for at least two days. This 
This time, Rivela showcased a rich build up cocktail of cultural dances accompanied with drums and songs that occupy the crowd for the two days up to the D Day. And on the final day, the rate at which activities happen doubles. First in the morning, the kindest family slaughters a four legged animal. John Patrick Magomo, a renowned elder among the Bamasaba people, explains that without this stage, the actual circumcision may turn problematic. Meanwhile, the candidate is rushed through the must-do activities like visiting the river where he is met with clay soil as a sign of appeasing his ancestors. Thereafter, it becomes more real than ever that time is up for him to face the surgeon, who also is on standby to perform his role. And everyone here is eager to grab an opportunity to witness how the knife moves on somebody's flesh. This then ushers in a celebration mood with spontaneous jubilations from the crowd. After facing the knife, this young man undergoes a thorough cleaning and cleansing process. We attended the cleansing ceremony of one Mohokosi Kenneth, where we found his special meal was being prepared. At this point, there are items that are very vital, like a cork or hen, millet brew, also known as malwa, money, and garden tools like a hoe, panga, plus an axe, among others. Bearing in mind that I subscribe to the same culture, I was required to respect culture first. An imbal surgeon is required by tradition to advise a successful candidate on the do's and don'ts of the cultural practice. Hey, this is a, a similar point that you should be a farmer. And here, the saying that Imbal is not for the faint-hearted comes into play. The family cannot rely on handouts, but work hard to feed the candidate. <laughs> Ago, we told that you don't eat guinnets and you don't drink milk and then you don't uh, eat fish for three days. Because that when you eat that, the, the, the wound will do what? Will not, will, the passes will not dry quickly. Masabasi confirms that it was okay for candidates to have sex with old women but only discouraged recently for fear of acquiring HIV AIDS. You obey your, your age mate, his wife, because it is your comrade. So you cannot joke with his wife. That is bad. Don't, that's why you say we, we say that don't do adultery. While here, his special meal we found being prepared is finally served. <laughs> Important to note about Imbalu is that a surgeon or umhibi can have a second though rare chance to correct his mistakes unlike the candidate or umsinde whose slight error will live with him forever.
Relatives and friends can now join the celebrations after a successful Imbalu journey. Here are the elders enjoying their booze called Imalua after a successful story of their candidate who braved the knife. Had he failed, they wouldn't be here celebrating the way they are doing. Dokas Kimono, UBC News.